The difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain or England. If you were born, bred or educated in any part of the United Kingdom, you may not consider this a question since the answer is at your fingertips. You may not even have thought of it because it is as simple as the description of your house. However, you might be surprised that it can be more challenging to explain this to someone interested in the political and geographical compositions of the United Kingdom. Let's illustrate. We've heard many people in Africa and Asia who know only London as their place their kin and kiths travel to whenever the news breaks that these travel to the United Kingdom. And due to the popularity, size and influence of England, it is all too easy to equate the United Kingdom or Great Britain with England. In this video, we shall try to show you the difference between those geographical locations and political designations. This, we hope, will clarify the confusion in the minds of those who may be confusing things. It can also be a great instructional material that can assist in explaining to those confused. The three geographical entities broadly viewed. The two terms, the United Kingdom and Great Britain, are often used interchangeably. However, the geographical designations are not the same, hence they are not synonymous. Nevertheless, we need to quickly tell you here that the official name of the country, UK, is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. But then, if that's the official name, is there really any difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain? Are we not being bothered by a mere academic exercise? Yes, there's a difference, and it's not all about an academic exercise. The difference dwells in the geographical area covered by each term and in the expansive history of the British Isle. Great Britain, also known simply as Britain, is a geographical term that refers to a great island, while the United Kingdom is a sovereign state made up of four countries. And what about England? It is simply a country within the United Kingdom, one of the four countries that make up the kingdom. To clearly define the differences, let us now look at what each of them stands for in greater detail, starting first with the United Kingdom, or the UK. What is the United Kingdom? The United Kingdom is an independent country of countries situated off the northwestern coast of Europe. It is the name describing the entire island of Great Britain and the northern part of the island of Ireland, hence the name the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It has as its capital city de facto London. Its existence dates back to 1801, when the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland united to form a big country. Then it was known by the name the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. But when the southern part of Ireland gained its independence through diplomacy in the 1920s, the name changed to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. When the Irish state declared its freedom in 1949, it became the Republic of Ireland, a change from its former name Irish Free State. Even then, this country is no part of Great Britain, also as we shall soon see. While the northern part of Ireland decided to remain in the United Kingdom, Thus, what is known today as the United Kingdom is a product of the separation and union of the different parts. The UK as a country has a unitary parliament democracy with a constitutional monarchy. It is one of the biggest and strongest and most competitive economies globally. It has one of the most powerful militaries as a world power. And it is one of the most influential countries in the world. London in England is the financial and political capital of the United Kingdom. The three other countries have their own parliament, but their laws and politics are subjected to the laws of the United Kingdom. While the people in the entire kingdom are called British, the peoples maintain their separate identities as those from Northern Ireland are called Irish, those from Scotland Scottish, and those from Wales Welsh. Nevertheless, all of them carry only the British passport. What about Great Britain? To understand the difference between the United Kingdom and Great Britain, we need to look again at the geographical term, the British Isles. These are a group of thousands of islands off the northwestern coast of Europe, the vast majority of which are uninhabited. However, there are smaller ones such as the Isle of Wight, the Hebrides, the Shetlands Islands, the Isles of Scilly, the Orkney Islands and the Isle of Man. But the largest of them are Britain and Ireland Islands. Historically and politically speaking, the term British Isle, though, with long usage, has continued to be controversial in use. This is especially so as some Irish have objected to its political and cultural connotation connecting Ireland and the United Kingdom. For instance, in the Middle Ages, Britain also covered a small part of the current territory of France, now known as Brittany. Subsequently, the term Great Britain came into use when referring specifically to the island. 
However, it was not until 1707 that the name began to have an official significance upon the unification of the island's rival kingdoms of England and Scotland as the Kingdom of Great Britain. Remember, as mentioned earlier though, that Ireland had effectively been an English colony since the 12th century. So following the emergence of Great Britain as just described, Ireland remained under the British influence crown. And in 1801, it officially aligned with Great Britain as a single political entity. That explains its former name mentioned earlier. So it was either the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, or the United Kingdom for short. However, the union did not last beyond 1922, as mentioned earlier. Only six counties remained within Great Britain. What can we deduce from this? That Great Britain is a geographic term rather than a political term. It refers to the island also known simply as Britain. However, if taken politically, it would refer to an island consisting of England, Wales, Scotland and other tiny islands under their administration, such as the Isle of Wight, parted by the English Channel and the North Sea. Be that as it may, Northern Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom, is nevertheless not a part of Great Britain. The confusion is often a result of the unification, but that has been effectively separated by the official name, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So on the map of the United Kingdom, we have Great Britain, consisting of England, Wales and Scotland, as the larger of the two British Isles on the right side, and Northern Ireland as the smaller on the left side. In one sentence, Great Britain consists of England, Wales and Scotland only, while the United Kingdom includes the three plus Northern Ireland. In other words, Great Britain refers to a geographical faction of nations, while the United Kingdom, other hand, refers to a political group of countries. This should have automatically explained England. Understanding England What about England? It is a country in both the United Kingdom and Great Britain, as you must have seen. Located in the southern part of Great Britain Island, which is part of the country United Kingdom. As just one of the four countries, England is equal in status to and no more than Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, though each varies in the level of autonomy. England is understandably the traditional heart of the United Kingdom. However, the use of the term England to refer to the entire country is never correct, and when you hear or see the term London England, the user may be technically incorrect. London is not the capital of England alone, but the capital of the entire UK. By definition, Great Britain is simply a geographical expression, while the United Kingdom is a political designation and representation of the area. In usage, the term Great Britain is considered a synonym for Britain, while the term the UK represents the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, but formally with Ireland in total. While the region of Great Britain is around 80,823 square miles, the ninth world's largest island, the entire UK is 93,628 square miles large. What do you think about these terminologies? How would you explain the differences in simple terms? Please tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.